What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Since Remy Ma got out of prison, she's really been gunning for the queen of rap position. She's sent countless subliminals to Nicki Minaj. Uh, one, for instance, was on the All The Way Up remix, her new verse, sent some shots. And then throughout this entire recent album with Fat Joe, she was going at Nicki without saying her name, of course. And so Nikki decided that she was going to respond. And that response came on Friday night or Friday morning on Friday. That's when the song came out and hit iTunes uh, on a Gucci Mane record titled Make Love. And so Nikki did her usual go in and talk about sales and, you know, how she has all these plaques and everything. And Remy only has one platinum plaque. And the verse was okay. It was just mild at best. And so, within 48 hours, Remy Ma has responded with a 7-minute scorching diss response over Nas's ether. It's called Sheether. And, man, Remy came prepared. She's been waiting her entire... I don't want to say her entire life. Not her entire life. But she's been waiting since she got out of prison and started throwing these subliminals for this moment. And so there was no way that Remy was going to come out and not be prepared. This wasn't going to be a Drake versus Meek Mill situation again. Remy is out for blood on this record. There's no mistake in that. You don't go at somebody for seven minutes if you're not trying to really go in and destroy them. And so Remy is attacking like every aspect of Nikki's life from her failed relationship with Meek Mill to her brother being a pedophile to her being signed to three different labels in a, in a 360 deal and all her money is you know going through so many different hands it's ridiculous it's insane the amount of stuff that uh, Remy is saying in this record and as always you always got to take stuff with a grain of salt. I don't think anybody is looking at some of these lines and thinking these are very literal. I mean, there's a, a couple lines that kind of tell a story about Remy running into Meek Mill and how Meek was trying to tell her that Nicki Minaj's implants, they kind of popped and so they couldn't have sex for three months. Like, that tells a story. It's, in, it's insane to think about and it's probably not true but it is also just very hard hitting. And that's what it, it matters the most. I think it's it's less about facts and more about hitting somebody really hard and being creative about it. That's another aspect that a diss record should possess is being creative. And that's what Remy Ma is doing with that story. And then there's other lines throughout. I mean, she spills, uh, you know, some tea that... Uh, Nikki's been sleeping around. She says specifically, only time you touch a trigger is when you fuck Trey songs. Cokehead, you cheated on your man with Ebro, who works at Hot 97. Uh, I might leak the footage of you sniffing them ski slopes. I like that. That's a cool way to say it. Ski slopes. So, Remy is really in the zone, really focused. The entire time I'm listening to this song, I'm feeling like Jim Ross, who was a WWE commentator. And one of his most infamous moments was calling The Undertaker versus Mankind Hell in a Cell. Undertaker threw Mankind off the cell and you had Jim Ross going crazy. He was like, oh my God, that killed him, that killed him, stop the damn match. That's how I felt listening to this diss record. It just felt like Remy really packed on the lyrical content. And if you're going for the crown, if that's what you want, then you really have to prove that you deserve it. And Remy proved that she is ready to take it. Now, I don't know where this battle goes from here. As of right now, Nicki Minaj is just on Instagram responding. And that's bad. Like, did you not understand anything from Meek Mill's situation? You shouldn't be on Instagram posting little videos of Beyonce calling you the queen of rap. Or posting Remy Ma's album sales, which were low. Like, none of that matters. The, the fact of the matter is if you are the queen of something and somebody comes into your room to take your throne, to take your crown, you don't just sit there and say, well, 
a few years ago I did this and this and this. You don't stop. You don't start naming off past achievements. No, you get ready, you battle, and you make sure that you still sit in that throne. And I think that's something that Nicki Minaj is not understanding right now. It's cool that Beyonce called her the rap queen, but it's all in the past. And that's not to discredit any of Nicki Minaj's accomplishments. She has done a whole lot, and she's a, a legend in the making. She's opened up so many doors. She's done so much in her career. But you can't just skate off your past achievements. The fans, they want to hear bars. And if Remy is going to give them the bars and Nicki Minaj is not, then you got to kind of take that, uh, that aspect of being the queen of rap. Because when, I, when you look at it like this, I look at the queen of rap being less about sales and you know, how much uh, money you bring in and how many venues you sell out. I look at it more that it comes down to bars. Because when you think about it, how do kings and queens, you know, in the past, how did they get uh, to be where they are? They had to fight. They had to, you know, defend their crown. And that's exactly what Nicki Minaj has to do if she wants to continue to call herself queen. So I would never count someone out in a battle. I'm hoping that Nicki Minaj doesn't just uh, continue to respond on social media because that's just a, a failing battle. I will say that Nicki Minaj will have a tough time responding to this song because Remy, like I said, went in. So Nicki Minaj is really going to have to put her pen to work to really counter and come out with some hard-hitting lines of her own. Make love was mild at best, and so Nicki Minaj has to go harder than that. Otherwise, Remy Ma is just going to continue to keep killing her. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Remy Ma tries to pull a Drake and releases a second disc record in, like, the next 24 hours if Nicki uh, shows that she's not actually getting in the booth to record a response. It's like the scene in The Simpsons where Homer is dressed as Krusty the Clown and he starts assaulting a Hamburglar. And there's a kid there. He's, like, starting to cry. He's like, stop, stop. He's already dead. Like, that's basically how you can respond or how you can look at this beef currently. Remy Ma is kicking Nicki Minaj and she's going to need a whole lot to respond. But like I said, not counting her out. I'm just saying it's going to be a hard uphill battle. So those are my thoughts on Remy Ma's diss record to Nicki Minaj titled Sheether. Uh, let me know what you think about this record in the comment section below. What lines were the most hard hitting to you? Talk to me and then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.